Hello, hello, and welcome once again. J76NY here, and episode number 64 starts off right where we left off last time. Just outside of the recently captured Pompeii. Uh, we have a six shoot ship battle group moving in, maybe one battleship, one SBB, maybe a bunch of destroyers, who knows. Uh, Dauntlesses were launched from the Yorktown battle group and were intercepted. So uh, we are going to start this a little different than uh, what I had in mind. But it's going to be Dauntlesses making a quick attack and hopefully getting out of there. Uh, and then Task Force Keystone is going to move in. Hopefully intercept them and hopefully finish them off. So sit back, relax, and enjoy episode number 63 or 64. They go off on their attack run. All of them, every single one of them. We do have we do have a battleship, a heavy cruiser, and the rest are destroyers. So the majority of them are moving in on the battleship. <clears throat> And the rest are going in on the heavy cruiser. I think I've got three groups moving in on the uh, cruiser and two on the battleship. And this is just the first flight of them, too. All armed with armor piercing, so hopefully this will do a number on the uh, ships that they're aiming at. But this is going to come one right after the next, after the next, after the next. Our maneuvering. Oh, nice, nice. All right. Got a drop on the cruiser. Good hits on the cruiser as well. More hits on the battleship. I think that was a whiff on the uh, cruiser up front. Next group, next two groups are moving in on the battleship. Got some decent hits there. More decent hits here. Like I said, I had the majority of them targeting the battleship, but we did have some of them go in on the uh, cruiser. Those planes that were on the map are not actually here. So, these guys are free to form up, and exit. I don't think we did catastrophic damage in this airstrike. Uh, we did lose five Dauntlesses, um, but it's a start. Hopefully that second strike will soften them up a little more and cas Task Force Keystone can finish them off. Alright, so our Dauntlesses are <laughs> moving after them. They turned around and ran, which is kind of surprising given the lack of damage that we inflicted on them.
but we got 13 more Dauntlesses. They're all going for the uh, for the battleship. So let's get into this. Okay, so here we go with our second attack on the battleship. Battleship looks a little worse for wear. It's just the coloring, though. I barely touched her. Moderate and minor. Uh, moderate and none on the, um, the cruiser that we hit. Neither one of them were showing the damages from our attack, so. But our Dauntlesses are moving in. And they are down there. Same thing, it's going to be one strike right after the next, after the next, after the next. And once again, we had planes in the area, and uh, no idea where they are. Not complaining, I'm just saying they're not here when they were on the map. It actually pulled me into, a, pulled me into this fight because of the planes, so... Comes the first flight, about to push over. We're gonna come probably one every three seconds. Unfortunately, we're losing an awful lot of Dauntlesses in this attack. I did think about not even... Oh wow, we're losing a lot of Dauntlesses. Yeah, I, I did think about not even... making this attack seems they were leaving and we lost most of our Dauntless. Plus. Eight of them. Eight out of 13. So that's not good. Really, honestly, don't think critical and minor. So she's she's hurting. She's just, now she's heading back. Here comes a zero. <laughs> Hopefully this guy doesn't shoot any of our Nautiluses down. Tail gunner. Do your thing, buddy. Do your thing. You can see him back there. There he is. Follow that shell. That was pretty close. All right, where did the plane go? Shoot him. Go ahead and shoot him. There you go. Tail gunner's starting to open up. I can't believe we lost so many Dauntlesses. That wasn't good. I'm wondering who, uh, who he's going, well, so I don't have to wonder anymore. There's one down. Oh, now we got more planes. All right, Dauntlesses, uh, let's get you into a box. See if we can do that. That's not even smoking. Oh, a little too late. 
and ended up losing the whole flight of Dauntless is these two zeros. Yeah, this is unfortunate. Night for the deck. Maybe he'll overshoot you if you slow down. He did overshoot him. every single one of our Nautiluses in that flight. Coming up on us pretty quick too. Maybe I could try dog fighting with him. At least give the guy a fighting chance. Is right there. Ready? Fire. He's not smoking. What's our other one doing? Oh, probably not too good. I'm not going to prolong this any more than I already have, so. Thirteen out of, eleven out of thirteen lost. Heavy damage and minor flooding. Yeah, that wasn't worth it. Alright, you can return to base. Uh, we'll get our fighters back to base, too. Task Force Keystone, we're going to have you come south for now. All right. Meanwhile, here. At least you. Uh, about 3,200, 3,300 troops that are now heading for uh, Pompeii. We got 13,000, so that'll give us about 16,000. I think we got 4,000 troops this week. So the 20,000 I want uh, to go into truck with will be a couple weeks. So we'll be hanging out here for a couple weeks. Uh, down in the south, uh, we need um, transports. And we need supplies to take the next step in the south of the equator operations here, which is going to be Sorong. Um, I was thinking about kind of bopping up here to Manadao. Pretty sure that's supposed to be Mindanao, but... I don't know, that level 2 port in the level 3 airfield is fairly appealing. Wouldn't take much to upgrade that to a level 3. And then we could rearm down here, right on the, uh, right on the edge of the Java Sea in the Dutch East Indies, so... That might be what I'm gonna do here.
All right, we are with our Mariners. Uh, we were with our Catalinas, too. Catalinas with torpedoes. Um, I made a torpedo attack run on this cruiser here. The cruiser took one torpedo and all the rest of them missed. Um, so our other Mariners moved in on the battleship. Uh, we had three Mariners. Uh, four, actually. There was an individual Mariner. And, uh, well, for some reason it didn't record. So, we are dropping on the damaged cruiser um, with our last two Mariners because, as you can see, There's the uh, final results of our attack here. Uh, I'm assuming there's either some type of collision or uh, friendly fire for this guy. That one right out there that's smoking. I didn't attack him. But the cruiser's going to walk away with critical damage and heavy flooding. Um, five command points gained for the battleship sunk. Uh, apologies for the technical malfunction there with the uh, recording not happening. You'll just have to trust me when I say it was a pretty nice strike. So they're going to patrol up there. I do have the Wildcats uh, around Task Force Keystone. We did get attacked by a couple of um, bombers, but they didn't really last. Uh... We have a, let's see, what do we have? Four Mariners that are going to make it back. Um, unfortunately, all our Catalinas got shot down, so without fuel and engineering, um, they're going to be down a couple planes. Uh, we do still have the uh, Yorktown Battle Group in the area. Uh, Yorktown can't launch for another four and a half hours after her Dauntless has got back. That's the cooldown period, I guess. Uh, we're going to head her up in this general direction here just to kind of stay away from whatever that might be without cap. Wouldn't want to run into any type of problems. Uh, meanwhile, down here, uh, the vampire is going to rearm at Rabal and head out down south a little bit to join the Hornet Battle Group. Enterprise is heading back. She's in need of uh, some more uh, assault or more offensive air capabilities. Got the Bagley and the Dale with her as escorts. So they are going to uh, head back. Uh, Task Force 21 with more troops is heading down uh, to drop them off at Pompeii. That'll give us about 15,000 there. Um, that's what we can pull without losing, uh, the base. Invasion 1's heading back up, as is troop transport. And we only have 800 troops, so these are gonna be, uh, probably supply runs, maybe engineering. I don't know where my, there's Base Force 1 with our three... Anchors, they're also heading up. So it might not be a bad idea to uh, drop off some fuel and engineering to Pompeii uh, on their way back to uh, Horn Island. Uh, Shortland's looking okay. I have been thinking about pulling the small amount of... Uh, 
engineering we need to get that up to a level. That's going to be a level 2. Yeah, level 2 airfield. I actually do that. Split you off, Horus. Well, oh, Guadalcanal, what do they have? Under nine engineering. Go get it from Guadalcanal. Don't need it. Alright, so problem solved. Sorry, Guadalcanal. Torpedo bombers moving in on Task Force Keystone. We have a whole lot more torpedo bombers than uh, what our cap can handle, so we're breaking off the Anderson. We're breaking off the knee block. A lot of freaking uh, Wilkes Bar. Let's see. You could probably put you in Task Force. Okay, you are in Task Force Keystone. I'm just an idiot. The rest of these guys are gonna have to do some pretty fancy dodging here. Leaves. Gonna run interference here. Knee block. Right, there's three that are moving in. I see who they're going for. You turned. We're losing wildcats to these fucking guys. Pennsylvania. Strangely not going for Pennsylvania. All right, don't hit the Pennsylvania. There we go. All right, well, none of them got their... Oh, shit. Black. Uh, this is going to be a tough sell for you. Come on. Nope. <clears throat> one dud, one hit. <clears throat> If that's the worst of it, then okay. I mean, poor Anderson, but... Still. Alright, come to a stop before you run into something. Uh, Anderson, you can come to a stop as well. Chester. Portland. I'm just going to get the damages fixed up on... Uh, The knee block there, or the Anderson, whoever got hit, that would be you. Pennsylvania, you can come to a stop. Wichita. damage moderate flooding still has uh, full use of her guns and 82% speed so a little bit damaged but she'll live all right Day number two. 
Task Force Keystone's adventures with land-based torpedo planes and bombs. Got 12 Wildcats up for today's combat air patrol. And two torpedo bombers now in the water. Exciting. Ah, Wildcats. They did good. Proud of you. Not really too concerned with uh, what they have um, coming after us. They're down to launching flights at two. I think truck is probably uh, fairly depleted of their uh, pilots. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me, in their aircraft. Yorktown Battle Group. Yorktown Air Group. With her own cap and, uh, another flight of dead Japanese pilots. There isn't a lot of them. There's, I think, uh, six. Go ahead and start shooting. Anytime. There's two in that group. Who are you shooting at? Go, there's that group and Oh we lost a wildcat, no shit. And them. Uh they didn't get anywhere near us. There's the Yorktown out there in the distance. Alright. Moving right along. As the day went on, both Task Force Keystone and the Yorktown Battle Group came under constant air attack from planes from truck. with similar results. That doesn't mean some of them didn't get through, though. We had our Wildcats heading back to refuel, and... Well, here's these guys. Two of them coming in on our stern. So I've got our destroyers heading out to play, uh, intercept them. Or they can, uh, actually reach our group. Got the Anderson out in front, the damaged Anderson. Better get ready to uh, do some moving here in case, uh, in case these destroyers don't put the uh, torpedo planes down. Though. They might not. Doesn't look like they're going to. 
dropped right on our stern. And she caught one right on the stern. Damn it. Come to a stop. Get those fires put out. That was an unfortunate... Very unfortunate drop there. Uh, Portland is... Got her head this way. I don't think we really have anything to worry about, but... Moderate and moderate, 22%. So we got to get these fires put out for sure before our magazine explodes. <clears throat> Chester may be going back. Kitty Hawk on patrol has sighting of potentially one CVL and three CLs. So we're going to see what direction this fella moves in. He's heading to the south. Let's have a pressure. up like this uh, we're gonna have Wahoo come back over like this and uh, task force Tar Heel as well we're gonna go yeah that looks about right And of course, we're going to launch planes. So uh, let's go with the six Beauforts. Uh, one 1,000 to 500 pound from you. Uh, Catalinas. Go with torpedoes for them. Uh, in case this is a actual carrier, I don't want them to be able to cause any problems for me. So they're going to launch Wildcats as well as Dauntlesses. Uh, yeah. About right. Have them come out, the Wildcats escorting. Get you back to keep eyes on them. Make sure they're heading in the right direction. Uh oh. There we go. Let's grab our Catalinas. Put them on an intercept course. Oh, Beauforts. I'll have them come down like that. I could launch uh, out of Shortland too. But I think we're yeah, we're all right for now. I'm not gonna let them get too close to uh, the ball here before we make our strike. So once all these guys get collected in uh, one area, they will uh, move in on the attack.
Catalinas and Beauforts are moving in at the same time. Uh, we are both targeting this here battleship. Unfortunately, I don't think. Oh, they got their torpedoes off. All right, Beauforts have dropped. Catalina's torpedoes are in the water. They're actually not looking too bad. They all got shot down. Whether or not... There's a dud. There was some bombs. I think we got... Yeah. Decent amount of hits. Here we got... Uh, one, two torpedoes... Three, three torpedoes, a bunch of bombs. Might not have done too much, but uh, Catalina here is moving out. Uh, I did target the um, bruiser with uh, Dauntlesses. We didn't lose a single Dauntless, which is good. And then I accidentally targeted this destroyer with some of them because uh, I wasn't really paying attention to the numbers on the... Um, other Beauforts are flying away. Uh, they're going to target the battleship, obviously. But we'll get them in on the battleship. Uh, Wildcats could possibly come back and do some strafing. And I don't know if I want to risk my Wildcats, but I see a destroyer that's uh, looking pretty rough out there, so we could finish them off with some strafing. Uh, minor and no damage on the cruiser. Moderate, moderate on destroyer. Minor, minor, heavy and moderate. So we got another group of three Beauforts moving in on the attack. Uh, right now they're 20,000 uh, yards out. We got a little love fest going on right here. Uh, battleship is smoking. Uh, so, would have been a lot uh, better of an attack, but I think we did pretty good with our bombers and torpedo planes coming in at once. Kind of ruined the cinematic moment, but sometimes, I guess conducting the battle is more important than, um, you know, making a video, making a movie. Uh... Right, yeah, so these guys are going to make their run on the battleship. Looks like the battleship's turning right, so we'll uh, adjust our course a little bit like this uh, to come in. Uh, it's the heavy cruiser running off by herself. I am not even at all concerned with that heavy cruiser. Get everyone targeting the uh, battleship. All the destroyers are just kind of milling about here. But we could strafe, but like I said, I don't really know if I want to just sacrifice uh, wildcats for the sake of a destroyer. So, you guys are going to move in, they're going to drop their bombs, and uh, hopefully we get uh, favorable results. Okay, I'm going to blame this on technical malfunction, even though it was totally my fault. The two out of the three uh, Beauforts didn't drop, and uh, somehow I still have six or nine Dauntlesses that are armed. I thought I sent them all in, which is kind of a good thing that I didn't, <clears throat> because I accidentally targeted that destroyer here. This is... What happens when my schedule gets thrown out of whack? I tend to uh, make some silly mistakes here. So these guys are going to move in. And 
and we'll see how they did, how they're going to do. Uh, meanwhile, Beauforts are making their way around. Oh god, oh god, what did I just do? Well, Dauntlesses are coming in. Three more. Last three Dauntlesses. It's going to be up to those Beauforts there, so they'll be, uh, they'll be in on the next attack. Which they're probably going to be needed for, so. Okay, so you saw the results, critical and heavy. Uh, let's go with... Four 1,000 pound armor piercing bombs. We're gonna set these guys off. Uh, these guys are going to scout the north. The Beauforts are going to scout to the east, and the Hornet's going to pull back a little. Uh, and we'll throw some Mariners in there. Why not? Throw some mariners in there and see if we can come up with something here. Uh oh. Uh oh. I don't think they turned back. They might have, but they'd be somewhere out here, you would think. There they are. Mariners. Let's do this. They gotta be right somewhere in the area. Hopefully I was... I'm trying to get out of the habit of getting having all my planes directly on top of them on the strategic map so that... Um... Let's just do this now before I forget. Oh. Everybody's bomb bay doors are open with their torpedoes. We'll have them come down like this. Uh, B-17s, all three of you, open your bomb bay doors, have you come up like this, have you come up a little further because you don't maneuver very good. Uh, Mariners. you off into groups of three. What's that? No, 
down on the deck. Speed up. Check the damages. I'm thinking it's probably yeah, critical and heavy. We may actually be able to See what her speed is. Go booking at 20. Wait. Oh, uh, where are you, bud? You disappear to. Falls of the battleship. Number six. All right. Well, let's. Uh, number six. You guys are definitely in a bad position, Mariners. Let's have them uh, circle like this. These three are gonna come around like that. We're gonna grab one of the B-17s. Order them all up to altitude. Have the first one start swinging in right now. Only going eight knots. It may just take one B-17 to uh, get this ship down. All right. Well, well, the B-17 moves into position, and the Mariners also get into position. I am going to cut and be back. Bruiser's probably number one here right in the middle. Yeah. That would be my next target for the torpedo planes, but not if she's in the middle of a swarm of destroyers. So we will uh, see what we can do individually in terms of attacking this battleship. And there she goes. Under the water. I did lose all the other ships, so I dropped a dropped my bombs on this destroyer out here. My armor piercing bombs that probably weigh more than the destroyer. And they all missed, so this is the end result of our attack here. One more sunk battleship and more than likely a convoy turned around. Anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you have any tips, thoughts, or advice, leave those in the comment section down below. Um, if you want to follow along through the rest of our campaign as the United States and her allies in War on the Sea, hit the subscribe, and we'll pick this up again in the next episode. J76NY saying thank you very much for watching and have yourself a very good day.